Hi there. In this tutorial, we will teach you how to locate the optimal risky portfolio on the efficient frontier. In previous tutorials, we have learned how to trace the efficient frontier itself and how to locate the minimum variance portfolio, both with short selling and without it. If you are interested in those videos, you can find the links in the video description and there will be a download link to this Excel spreadsheet as well. And if you are new to our channel, consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. Okay, let's get started. Now, what we need to do to find the optimal risk of portfolio is really to maximize the sharp ratio of a portfolio that combines the risk-free asset with the tangency portfolio. And to do that, actually, we need some additional data that we didn't really need or use in previous tutorials. So previously, we had monthly returns on 10 stocks. Now, to that, I need to add a risk-free asset. So here, I've got monthly returns on the risk-free asset, which is a one-month treasury bill. Okay. So I'm going to use that as my proxy of the risk-free asset. And I have added this row where I've got the average return over the 10-year period, which is pretty low, um, and the volatility of this, which we will assume to be zero, right? Because it's a risk-free asset. So we will uh, take the volatility of the risk-free asset as zero. And what we need to do is to compute a sharp ratio and maximize that. What's the intuition behind it? So the intuition is that the risk-free asset will be somewhere down here. So we would like to connect that with one of the efficient frontiers. So let's say, so, sorry, one of the efficient portfolios. So let's assume that we connect the risk-free asset with the minimum variance portfolio. So that would be a straight line like this. But we could do better, right? So we could actually connect it with a portfolio higher up in the efficient frontier. And what we want it is really to go as high as possible until the point of tangency, right? Because if we go any further, we won't be really touching the efficient front here, okay? And the tangency portfolio is going to be our optimal risky portfolio. So how am I going to find that? So first of all, let's compute our sharp ratio. So remember, sharp ratio is a reward to risk ratio. So the reward is the excess return on the portfolio, which is found by taking the portfolio return and subtracting the risk-free return from that. So this is the reward part. So we will divide this by the risk of the portfolio. Okay? And here we are. So this is the sharp ratio for this particular portfolio over uh, the 10-year 10, 10 period. OK, now what you need to do is to go to Solver. You would remember from previous uh, tutorials that in, uh, we have always minimized the risk of the portfolio subject to the investment weights adding up to 1, right? So we were changing these cells with the constraint that they will add up to 1, and we were trying to minimize the risk of the, our portfolios. Now we will do something different, right? So this time, I would like to actually maximize this sharp ratio. So I'm no longer interested in minimize, minimizing the risk of the portfolio. So now I would like to maximize my sharp ratio. So this is my sharp ratio. Change this to maximize. Okay. Again, I'll do this by changing the investment weights, subject to the constraint that they will add up to one. Now, this box is important. If you want the optimal risk portfolio with short selling, uh, leave this unchecked. If you check this, what it will do is that it won't short allow, uh, sorry, it won't allow short selling. So the weights will not be negative. You can check both. So let's begin with the optimal risk portfolio with short selling. Okay. It's solve, and there we are. So the sharp ratio has increased to 0 0.33, and this is my optimal risky portfolio. Okay. 
So I could also do the same without short selling. So I'm going to click box over here. And I've got the new position, sorry, the new, new solution. As you can see, the weights are either positive or zero. And the optimal risk portfolio has changed as well. And the Sharpe ratio has changed as well. OK, so let's plot this. Let's locate the optimal risk portfolio on this efficient frontier. And because this is the efficient frontier with short selling, which I had uh, plotted in previous uh, tutorial, I'm going to work with the optimal risk portfolio with short selling. So I'm going to uncheck this again and solve again. Here we are. As you can see, there are some negative weights. OK, so what I would like to do is really to add two points. Right, so the risk-free asset and the optimal risk portfolio, and they will be connected with a line that is just tangent to the efficient frontier. To save us time, I've already created those data points. So all I need to do is really click on this figure, and I'm gonna go to a chart design. Here we are. Select data, add new series, X values will be these two values over here. And Y values will be these two. OK, and OK. So as you can see, it had added two data points. So this is the risk-free asset. This is the tangency portfolio. OK. So now let's format this a bit nicer. I'm going to make it bigger. So first of all, so first of all, let's add our data label here, OK? So this is my, opti oops, my optimal risky portfolio, or let's say tangency portfolio, tangency. All right. Now let's format this a bit nicer. So let's change the marker color to something more. I don't need the line. I need, um, yeah, let's, let's make them a bit larger so we can see it easier. And let's change the color to something easier to see. OK, so this is the tangency portfolio. Now, what I can also do is I can add a trend line, right? And I will also have a forecast so that it just doesn't stop here and goes a bit further ahead, right? So let's put something like 0 0.08. So as you can see now, it's been extended up here. Again, the colors are quite terrible. So let's change that. Let's make it a solid line to make it easier to see. And let's make it slightly stronger. Here we are. Almost there. So let's make this also nicer. There we are. So this is the line that connects the risk-free asset to the tangents portfolio. And I have located it by maximizing the Sharpe ratio, right? Now, according to CAPM, this tangents portfolio is the market portfolio. Let's bear that in mind as well. OK, I guess that's all I want to uh, cover in this tutorial. I hope you have found it useful. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.